what exactly is cloud seeding and can it really fix Delhi's dirty air? Let's start with this explainer and start by telling you how it actually works. Now think of cloud seeding as giving reluctant clouds a bit of a push. Scientists use aircraft or even rockets sometimes to spray tiny particles, usually from silver, iodide, salt or even dry eyes into clouds that already contain moisture. These particles act as seeds, helping water droplets form and eventually fall as rain or sometimes as snow. Important to understand that cloth seeding can't really create rain from clear skies. It only enhances the precipitation when the right type of cloud is already present. So what is this Delhi experiment all about? Now, Delhi is now preparing for its first large-scale artificial rain operation led by researchers from IIT Kanpur. Now, apparently a successful test run was already conducted earlier in Burari and the main operation is planned between today and the 30th of October, 28th to 30th of October, depending all, not just on the science, but on weather and flight visibility. The idea is simple trigger light rainfall to help wash off the fine particulate matter, PM 2.5, PM 10, then blanket the city, you know, this entire PM 2.5, PM 10 that blankets the city every winter. The hope is that even a brief drizzle could bring down the pollution levels for a few days. But experts caution that success depends entirely on the weather. If the clouds lack sufficient moisture, even perfectly executed seeding flights will fail to produce rain. So you see how it happens over there. The question really now is, has it worked elsewhere? Can it really produce results? So we picked up in our research three countries that have tried out cloud seeding. Number one is China. Now China runs the world's most extensive weather modification program. Studies show rainfall sort of increases to around 4 to 10 percent in certain regions where they tried it out. However, results vary widely and measuring success remains tricky. But China does do it. They do it constantly every time there's a big world event, a big sport event. They do cloud seeding as an active exercise. Then there is the UAE that has invested heavily again in seeding with over 300 missions a year using aircraft and AI-based targeting systems just like those on your screen right now. Studies there suggest that 20 to 25% more rainfall in seeded clouds, but experts again emphasize that major weather events such as the 2024 Dubai floods, remember, were natural, not linked to seeding. So we've told you two countries so far, China, where it happened only about 5%, and then there is the UAE where floods came, and then questions were asked, was that because of cloud seeding? Let's look at United States as a third country then. It uses it mainly for water management, especially in the Rockies. There is a project there called Snowy, which confirmed small to measurable snow increase, typically three to 10%, useful for water storage, but not for solving for drought issues. So what are we telling you? In short, cloud seeding works when nature cooperates. It can nudge the clouds, but it can't replace them. But the question then is, will it help with pollution? That's the problem we face, unlike say what UAE or US faces. Now rain naturally helps clean up the air by dragging down dust and pollutants, so yes, if seeding succeeds in targeting air rain, Delhi's air could feel noticeably fresher for a short time. However, scientists warn that effect is temporary, often lasting just between 24 to 48 hours. The underlying causes of pollution, which is basically vehicle exhaust, industrial emissions and crop burning, will quickly rebuild that smog. Experts have described seeding as a Fire extinguisher, not a, not a cure really over there. Useful in emergencies, but not a substitute for emission control. But there are chemicals, remember that we said, that are used here. Is there a health concern? If you were to receive some of this rain, if possible because of cloud seeding, do you have to worry? 
Well, cloud seeding typically uses two things. A instrument or in fact a chemical it's called silver iodide. A component effective at forming ice in clouds. At the small doses used, it's considered safe and even disperses quickly. But health experts say that prolonged exposure could irritate the lungs, the eyes or the skin, especially in people with asthma or bronchitis. Environmental scientists there also call for long-term monitoring as repeated large-scale seeding might cause sort of trace accumulation in soil or water. For now, this is just a rider, remember, most studies, including those cited here uh, by us as well, find no immediate health risk from limited seeding, provided the environmental oversight is strict. So what is the bottom line when it comes to cloud seeding? The technology is promising, but it cannot replace the hard work of cutting emissions. As experts say, you can seed the clouds, but you can't seed in clean air. Hope that was helpful in understanding what exactly is cloud seeding all about.